Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can manage the SharePoint site access request. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's understand how we can manage the SharePoint site access request. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created a brand new site with the name of Approve Request. Let me open this site in the new tab. Okay, so now we are on our site, Approve Request. And here you can see this site is Teams Connected site. And now I will click on the gear icon. Uh, first of all, I will click on site permissions. So here you can see basically there are three groups, site owners, members and visitors. These three groups are SharePoint group. However, if I will uh, cancel this and now if I will click on this one member and here you can see this is the M365 group of which uh, Rachit is the owner. Let me cancel this. Now one more thing, let me click on the gear icon and if I will go to the site information and let me go to view all site settings. So in the site settings, here you can see we are not getting an option to approve and manage request of users. On this site, basically only one user as of now, uh, who is Rachit, is the owner of the site. Apart from Rachit, no other user has the access on this site. Let's go to the home page of the site. One more interesting thing which I want to you know let you know regarding the site. If I will go to the site permissions, here you will get the option of site sharing if i will click on this link you will get the first option you will get is of sharing permissions as per your organization policy you can set like site owners and member can share the files folder and this site and people with edit permission can share the files and folders and the second option is the site owners and member people with the edit permission can share files and folders but only site owners can share the site Okay, and the third option is only site owners can share the files, folders and the site. So as you can set any one of these uh, options to restrict your site sharing. And then we have this option access request. So when you will create a site, basically this option will be automatically toggled on by default. And below that you can choose who will receive the access request for this site like approve request owners so when the user will try to access the site okay so the access request invitation will go to the all the owners of the site if you don't want all the owners to get you know notified every time a user will try to access uh, the site so you can select it to specific email and here you can add the email address of the you know user whom you want to approve or decline the access request of users on the site okay and below that there is the option of add a custom message to the request access page so here you can you know uh, like enter the uh, default message what this message means let me tell you but uh, before uh, toggling it on let me toggle it off and click on save all right i will copy this site url and on different browser i have logged in with the credential of my different user let me go go there okay uh, so friends on different browser i have logged in using the credentials of Ritika. Ritika is part of my organization and on new tab let me try to access the request. So when Ritika will try to access the site approve request she will straight away get this message like access denied and you do not have permission to access this resource. So Ritika has the two options either she can ask the site admin to give her give him give her access and then second is to if you have a different account try and try signing in with that account okay so Ritika is experiencing this behavior when she's trying to access the site okay now however let me go back to my main browser okay now again I will click, click on site permissions let me click on this okay now I will toggle on the allow access request and let me save it okay now again let's go back to the browser on which Ritika is logged in okay so now when Ritika will try to access this site now she will get this, she will navigate it to this page. From here she can basically, you know, type the mess, uh, access request to the site and she can type any, uh, you know, message like please allow me uh, access to the site for a few days, anything. Uh, she can customize the message. This is the message by default which is coming. Now here she can write or customize the message in her own words like allow request and now she can click on request access. 
So once she will click on request access, she will see a message like awaiting approval. We will let you know about the, about any updates. Okay, now let's go back to the browser on which I have logged in using my credentials, Rachit. So since I am the owner of the site, now if I will go to the site information and from here, if I will go to now the site settings, you will see eventually now I am getting this option, users and permissions, access request and invitation. Earlier, I was not getting this option. Reason being because none of the user has request access on this site. Now, if I will click on this link, I will get this pending requests over here like Ritika approve request and uh, she has requested a minute ago I will get two options approve and decline if I will click on three dots from here basically I can select like what sort of permission I want to give her uh, like I want to give read contribute design full control or I want to you know Ritika to be part of these groups okay so basically I can choose the permission level from here and if I want to type any message I can type it over here let me cancel it and from here only I will approve it. So now you can see Ritika the edit access on the site. Let me go to the home page of the site once again. Okay, now I will click on the gear icon and uh, now let me take you to the site permissions. So here you can see if I will expand the site members, Ritika is now added to you know the SharePoint security group. So now Ritika has only the permission to this specific site. However, let me cancel this. Here you can see one member. So this group is basically, you know, the M365 group. And if you will add any user over here, that user will have the access to this teams planner. And so wherever you will add this, you know, M365 group, Ritika will be having access to all of them. So it's up to you. Like if you want to add that user to, you know, the M365 group, security group, you can add that, uh, give permission to the users over here. But specifically, if you want to allow the users to ac have access on this site, then you can simply go to the site permission page and just simply add those users to these three groups, which are, you know, automatically created when we uh, create any SharePoint site. Since we have now approved the re access request of Ritika to this site, now let's go to the different browser and let's check whether Ritika is able to access the site now or not. Okay, so now we are on different browser. Earlier Ritika has, you know, access request on this site. Now let's try to access the site once again. And once now Ritika will press enter, you can see she is now successfully able to access the site approve request. Either she can directly access the site using the site URL. However, she will be getting notified in her email and here you can see now she got a she got an email like administrator has responded to a request approve request good news you have now access to this site and she can click on this link and she will be you know getting navigated to the same site so friends that's how we can manage access request of the sharepoint site that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.